Oh, pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. Madura, me. Pray I find my way. Hey fam fam, welcome or oh, welcome back to my channel, if you're into my channel, hi, my name is Esther, you Mr. Park J. So as you babes can tell by the title of this video, <laughs> my mouth, as you babes can tell by the title of this video, I will be trying out new products today. It's not much, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. Okay. So if you're interested, be sure to keep watching this video and if you are new to my channel and yet to subscribe or if you've been to my channel and you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe right now. Click the subscribe button down below. Make sure your notification is turned on so that we don't miss out any single video for a me okra and now let's just jump straight into it we're actually going to include a little bit of skincare in today's video a couple of you guys have been asking me to do skincare routine I honestly don't feel like i have that great of a skin to do a skincare routine about i mean i have done skincare routine in the past kind of show like how i'm taking care of my skin and whatnot using affordable products so if you're interested in, actually maybe i shouldn't link it down below because it's an old video and to be honest i'm not proud of all my old videos <laughs> Because I was still trying to get my foot in on how to act on camera until I decided be yourself. So I don't know. So let's just focus on this one. I bought a couple of skincare products recently and I have been wanting to try this brand out. It's The Ordinary. Now I've already washed my face and I've also been using this for the past couple of days. I shared this with you babes on Instagram a few days ago. I think it's been about four or five days now. And so far so good. I'm talking about The Ordinary Hydrators and Oil Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus H A. <laughs> it's a 30 ml bottle and also the ordinary oh uh, additives and oil that's the section oh never mind the ordinary i can never this word and sally cyclic Oh, I can never say those words. Hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5. And this is a hydration support formula with ultra pure vegan hyaluronic acid. You all know what I'm trying to say already. So basically what we're supposed to do is supposed to wash your face. And then once you've washed your face before you go in with moisturizer and whatnot, you go ahead and apply the hyaluronic acid. Now to wash my hand, I generally use Pfizer's Hex antibacterial wash. I like using that to wash my hand in between like makeup. I also use it to wash my face as well when i kind of feel like i've got more gunk on my face to wash off any bacteria and whatnot i don't know this is what the hyaluronic acid bottle looks like and it has a dropper it's a little bit gooey which i like most of the time i'll just drop it on my face and then use my hand to rub it in and sometimes i literally just put it on my the palm of my hand warm it up with my hand and then rub it on my face and the moment i rub it on my face it starts to feel a little bit actually it starts to feel a lot of tacky which i like okay and then by the time i'm going with the moisturizer it just sticks on and when i wake up the next morning i can feel my face feeling really nice and hydrated now i do have oily combination skin so i feel like this is really focusing on both the normal and the oily side of my skin I re i've really been liking it so far see it's very um slimy ish gooey <laughs> it's really nice doesn't really smell like anything yes and literally it starts to dry almost instantaneously and you see this it's very uh, like tacky and it's already dry. I just grab a couple, a little bit more and just rub it on my neck. Cause if your face is looking good and your neck isn't, then what's the point, you know what I mean? So now I'm gonna go in with the moisturizer. This is the natural moisturizing factor with HA. And the moisturizer I like as well. I believe it does have good benefit for the skin based on reviews that I've watched and you know, try to listen to as much as I can. But lately I've been liking how it feels on the face, especially after going in with that hyaluronic acid. All right, so that's two things that I've been trying over the past couple of days that I just felt the need to include in today's video as well. Another thing that I bought at the Priceline Pharmacy here is a sunscreen. I have never ever used a sunscreen on my face before. Not because I believe black, you know, people don't need sunscreen. Oh, sweetie, if I say that, I am a terrible nurse. Even though I'm a mental health nurse, if I say that still, I am a terrible nurse. I don't know. I think I just always kind of was scared about buying sunscreen because most sunscreen that you see kind of like has this like white cast and whatnot when you apply it on the face. And some of them actually come 
tinted and you know when it's tinted like the the, the tint is mainly for caucasian people not necessarily for uh, melanin skin so i was kind of just stare away from it so i bought this cancer council face day wear matte sunscreen they say it's quick drying with matte finish helps prevent the visible signs of aging suitable for oily or blemish prone skin type and i'm of oily combination skin and i am very susceptible susceptible to blemishes <laughs> and i have a lot of blemishes on my face as well and the one i bought has spf 50 plus i was researching and they said the higher the spf the better a lot of people are concerned about flashback with their foundation and whatnot these days i don't really like go anywhere to take pictures anyway and if i do it's okay whatever so this is what the box of the sunscreen looks like and this is what the sunscreen itself looks like it is perfect to wear alone or as a base under makeup so i'm just gonna apply this this is gonna be my first time wearing sunscreen so i am really um oh it's very um calamine lotion consistency type <laughs> probably don't know what color my lotion is hmm. i honestly don't know if i should be applying it on top of the hyaluronic acid and whatnot but i'm just trying it out you know just for later on when i'm going out without makeup i just apply it on my face especially when summer comes i mean we're not getting summer until december but like when it comes it comes and it's very hot here in australia that you, you know, i do get sunburned okay i get sunburned it might not be the same as like caucasian people but sweetie <laughs> let's rub this in okay this is gonna be a good one to use alone it's not leaving any um cast yeah that's good okay all right so now let's get into the makeup okay okay <laughs> well i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and i will be right back okay here we are my brows around wow my face is looking very um glowy so i found this primer at priceline the other day this is the rimmel's fix and perfect makeup primer i actually saw my girl jojo final one but if you don't know her she's funny check her out i saw her use this on one of her videos and i was like huh did they come out with a new primer but when i went to the store the other day i saw that they still had their old primer in store as well i don't oh this one right here the stay matte mattifying primer so i saw this i'm like okay let me just try this out this one is mainly um oil controlling and this one is for everything i guess to smooth to resurface to brighten to mattify and to protect so let's just try it out oh dear lord why do they seal things like this all right we got it but yeah once again this is what the primer looks like this is also 30 ml same squeezy tube oh the consistency is different huh they're kind of the same but at the same time they're not hmm interesting this one is more oh this one smells better the new one smells better <laughs> Another thing that I didn't mention about the hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid is the fact that like once I put it on and I apply the moisturizer, I instantly feel like my face is sweating. And then I look in the mirror, you can see like it's a little bit sweating. I'm like, that is interesting. But it goes down after like a uh, 10 minutes or so. Okay, my face feels very, very moisturized right now, literally. This primer is moisturizing. I wonder how long my makeup will last with everything that I've put on my face today. Okay, what's next? Now, let's go into foundation. So the foundation I'm gonna be trying out is the... <sighs> you're gonna laugh this is the estee lauder double wear nude foundation this came out last year and this is it <laughs> i got this sample oh my gosh i got the sample last year i think november 2017 and i just put in my makeup back and it's been in my makeup draw and whatnot since then don't even know what shade they gave me i don't know what shade i asked for i don't know what shade i'm about to use but we're gonna go ahead and try it out it looks like this foundation comes in like 23 shades it's your invisible defense against environmental damage from uv rays and pollution i'm just gonna go ahead and apply with my brush because that's what i have been doing oh hmm interesting this is definitely a pinkish undertone type of um shade but at the same time it's matching me really well so yeah it is very very sheer <laughs> it's very sheer do you see it okay you know what let me use my real technique um sponge it's very um runny as well i still love this foundation that i really like is the double wear oh i love that thing literally <laughs> okay here we are the foundation is applied and i must say it's much better to apply with a sponge than with a brush i think with the, the consistency of this foundation a brush can I just gave it a you know 
streaky application yeah <laughs> i do remember what i was gonna say there for a second and uh, as you guys can see this is a little bit just a tiny little bit darker than my skin tone yeah and it's very 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 lightweight okay <laughs> it's very lightweight and it's very very light coverage and this definitely needs to be set but i'm not gonna set it i'm gonna apply concealer first and then we're gonna go from there so the next product is a concealer of course this is the what's that a hair this is the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer. I've mainly used the dark color before to contour and I've always wanted to try a lot of color for concealer and I just hope it's gonna be a good consistency for the under eye. It's very creamy. Okay, so this is what the box looks like and this is what the concealer itself looks like. Oh Lord, I hope this is the right shade. And the thing is, I can't return it. This looks promising. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply with my finger because yeah why not let me just channel my inner sandra deluxe <laughs> all right the color is not bad i'm actually happy and satisfied with the color especially with the foundation we've got on right now they say it's full coverage i don't see full coverage it's sticky when i use it as a contour on the side of my face and it's definitely sticky under my eye too okay here we go the concealer is applied can i just say this video is turning into a how to get a glowy face video because do you see this glowiness can you see this do you see this whoa like whoa okay we definitely need a powder soon because we are looking like i put my face under a running tap of oil all right so for powder i picked up this maybelline shine free oil control powder so they say it's an advanced oil control powder that keeps skin fresh clean and shine free for hours they say it's lightweight it's a lightweight powder that glides on smoothly and evenly for a flawless matte finish we need that right now no i don't want it to be too too matte though but yeah won't cause blemishes or over dry skin okay perfect use puff to blend and whisk away any loose powder wear alone or over makeup okay now picked up the shade medium i don't know how many shades this comes in and to be honest even if you had like deep 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 shades they still wouldn't really bring it to australia but this is what the powder itself look like i really like the container it's very nice and shiny oh it does come with a puff yeah it doesn't really have a smell okay this shade is promising just gonna use it to set the concealer because why not oh yeah this is a good shade oh wow can't believe i found a good shade of powder in an australian pharmacy literally did i just see a product lift off my eyeball right here <gasps> It's either the concealer or the powder. What's going on? I have no idea. Maybe I dragged too much. Yo, look at that. Do you see this? Oh my Lord. I think it's the NYX concealer. But that didn't really happen when I use it to contour. This powder is um good right now in terms of the shade, in terms of doing its job, like setting the face. I'm not really a big fan. Oh, this eye feels heavy. I'm not a big fan of it whatsoever. But will I continue to use it? Absolutely, because I spent money on it. <laughs> So I will still use it even though I don't really like it. Do you know what I'm saying? That's just the type of person that I am. Yeah, my concealer is lifting up on this side. I don't want this video to be too long, so let's just move on. And I keep trying to lock this, but the more you twist it, like it's not locking. Let's go into eyeshadow. I'm going to be using the NYX Away We Glow eyeshadow. This is a 10 shadow palette. This was sent to me recently. I have already kind of swatched this brown shade because it's been calling to me. It has this green shade in there that looks interesting, but I don't know if I'll dip into it. It has this gold shade, this bronze shade. So it has about five shimmer shades. The rest are matte shade and a couple of the matte shades have a um, little bit of a glitter finish to it. I don't know why they keep doing that. So I'm going to pick up the shade right here for our transition because why not oh i don't think my lid is set properly and i keep pulling powder but it's not setting properly especially this one right here my lid feels wet right now I'm gonna go into that deeper shade oh wow this is actually nicely pigmented oh my gosh i'm putting it in my outer corner this is beautiful wow okay now i'm gonna pick up the gold shade in the palette mm, this is not really coming out oh it wasn't really showing on the brush as much but i applied it and it's like whoa i'm just applying it on my lid i'm trying to just do something very simple today because i keep going i keep going extra over the past couple of days exhibit a b c <laughs> okay see and i'm not even spraying it and it's not chunky this is what i was saying about the makeup revolution palette this is the kind of shimmer i like this is it oh my gosh let me use my finger <gasps> 
and it's so easy to top up. Oh my gosh, let me use that green shade. Oh my gosh, let me put it right here. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm very excited. And I'm grabbing that deeper brown and just smudging it on my lower lash line. That is so nice. So my under eye is looking crusty, dusty, creasy, creasy. The powder, the gutcha covered concealer, not, not, not good at all. Not good for the under eye. Ooh. Do you see this? No bueno. Nope. My face is kind of messed up right now and it's still sticky. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna fix my face a little. I'm just gonna pick up Sasha Buttercup and just, you know, fix things a little bit. Oh Lord. Like any product I apply on the concealer, like the concealer just keep eating it and like it holds onto it. Do you see this? I just dusted the powder off and everything just lifted off my face. You see this right now? Like, are you kidding me? Do you see this right now? Excuse me? Even my forehead is looking messy. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, I'm, I'll, I'll have to wipe it off. This sucks. It sucks everything. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Do you see this? I can't believe I wasted my money on that concealer. I don't like it for the for under the eye. Oh, shiz. Okay, here we are. So I fixed my face. <laughs> I had to take off the entire base, all right? And I just went with products that I knew wasn't really gonna betray me. Do you see that glow? yeah all right here we go hair is down lipstick has been applied i just lined my lips with a purple liner and went in with the shayla x color pop luxe lipstick in the shade quickie i've been using this non-stop not because i love it but because it's right next to me i like my face now honestly if i try to like finish my makeup with that foundation and the concealer and the powder and whatnot still on my face i'd probably be in a terrible mood right now but because i went back in with a foundation that didn't really like disappoint me and another concealer like and another powder Powder, it's a little bit better and I feel a little bit better so let's just have a do a quick rundown of the products I use in today's video and how I feel about them so first of all the ordinary products as I said I've been using this for a couple of days I do like them so far the sunscreen it's a sunscreen you know so I can't really necessarily tell you if it's something that's great or revolutionary because it isn't because it's a sunscreen but the main thing I am happy with is the fact that it is clear color and it's really like once you apply it you don't really see it or your face it doesn't leave that cast you know when you apply it the Rimmel fix and perfect primer i like the way it feels it kind of has that moisturizing feel to it i think i would be using it in combination with my stay matte mattifying primer i'll put this in my t-zone and i'll put this on the rest of my face i really like the consistency of this i can't really tell you about the longevity because i, I kind of wiped it off here so i will use it later on like on, on another day maybe when i'm going to school tomorrow and then i'll update the description box down below to let you guys know the longevity of it now next the foundation the double wear fresh nude or nude foundation or whatever it's called first of all the shade is a no-no um second of all the consistency is a no-no i mean the coverage is all right you know but if you're gonna spend the amount of money you know it, it, uh, this is a high-end brand okay if you're gonna spend that amount of money on something that's gonna give you a sheer coverage i would just say pick up the ColourPop no filter foundation and only apply like almost half a pump of that foundation and put it all over your face and you're gonna get yourself a sheer to light coverage i like the way if it was on the skin i just didn't really like the way it looked on the skin the concealer the nyx gotcha covered total coverage concealer in a shade deep honey this one is a no-no for me for under my eye i do not like it for under my eye and it's unfortunate because i really really like it to contour with it gives that nice glow to the side of the face and i really like and it does have a nice longevity to it when i use it to contour but under the eyes i do not like this whatsoever i don't like the consistency i can't even use this as an eyeshadow primer because now nah, it's creamy which is nice but it's a little too creamy for its for its own good the eyeshadow palette i love this eyeshadow palette i love the the pigmentation i love the way it blends. even though i was applying it over this nyx gotcha covered concealer that was terrible as an eyeshadow primer it still blended really nicely i really like it thank you nyx i appreciate that now i'd really like to try the i love you mochi line but to be honest i don't i ain't got no money to be spending on that so let's just forget about that okay the powder the maybelline whatever loose powder this is shine free loose powder this is a mess of a powder i do not like this powder whatsoever and to be honest i will have to find a use for it because once again i spend my money on it i need to finish it even if i don't like it okay i don't like that powder i regret buying it but that's me yeah that's all i tried in today's video which of these products have you guys tried before let me know in the conversation comment section down below i love you fam bam thanks for watching as always whatever don't love yourself and i'll see you in my very next video by god's grace bye
Can I just say this I'll <laughs> this I'll <laughs> my hand is clean. Hang on, I'm just gonna wash my hand. Ha la 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 come closer. Oh dear lord, why do they seal things like this? Oh pray for me. Pray for me. <laughs> oh, it's a very thick puff. Oops, I have powder all over my chest. My chest! I went ahead and applied the Estee Lauder Double Estee. <coughs> <coughs> I've been watching Bob's Burger this entire time, and I don't like the current episode I'm watching. I need to eat. It's 1 p.m. right now. Man.